today we have the monstrous task of getting Carl to cut the jungle that has become our garden. It's just been one thing after another getting in the way of us keeping on top of it. The lawnmower broke, we bought a new spark plug, we lost the spark plug, we ordered another and that didn't come. So we finally bit the bullet and are off down to Argos to pick up a new mower. But will that be man enough to do the job? Hmm, we'll have to wait and see, won't we? If not, Carl's in trouble. Up you get then, Daisy. Okay. Come on then. Up you go. Got to put your seatbelt on. That's a good girl. Hello. As I was telling you earlier, our garden's in hell of a state. I think I've just shown you some pictures of it. It's like a bleeding jungle. And I've delayed cutting the grass for so long just because all my loma was a knackered and I ordered a spark plug and then I lost it and then I ordered another one and it didn't turn up. That's a spark plug for me petrol mower. I think me petrol mower's a bit on its last legs anyway. So I'll give up now. So I've just ordered myself a really nice rechargeable cordless trimmer, cordless trimmer from Argos. So I'm going to go down to Marshmallow Sainsbury's and pick it up. Spear and Jackson, it says it's the most powerful one they do. So if that don't get our grass sorted, nothing will. Well, Jackie did say about getting a gardener to do it, but I thought, well, the gardeners, it's so long, it's so long. They probably charge us about 80 quid to do, or well, maybe 50 to 80 quid to do it anyway. The lawnmower was like 130 quid. And then you carry on cutting it. <laughs> <laughs> and then I can carry on cutting it forever and ever until the lawnmower dies. And then that'll be another dead lawnmower. <laughs> another dead lawnmower in the in the shed. But I did say it's got like a three year, warrant, um, a three year manufacturer's warranty. So we should be good to go for the next three years at least. All being well. I don't want to hit that beautiful car in front of me because that's mine. Drive, handbrakes off. I didn't even check to see whether there was room up the top to turn the van around. Oh, yeah, there, is. Oh, there is. Always check that when I'm leaving the house that there's enough room at the top to turn the van around. Oh, well, the now. van's gone. There's somebody in there, there, but but at least the van's missing from there. So I don't have to worry about my nose catching Bud and his pickup truck. Look at that, it looks a bit like my garden, doesn't it? They reckon it's, uh, it's not going to be hot now until July. That's rubbish. And another reason we're taking the van with us, I could have just took the car to pick up the mower. I thought, well, we take the van and then we can grab a bit of McDonald's afterwards, have that in the car, McDonald's breakfast, because it's still early. And then we can come home, we're all fed and fueled then, don't have to worry about lunch then, because we're all fed and fueled. Cut the grass, plenty of energy. And I think the, the cold beers I took on the moors with me the other day, <laughs> which I didn't drink because it was too cold and I ended up having a cup of tea instead. They're still in my fridge at home. So I got a beer, I got a can of um, lemonade, chuck them together, make me shandy. I'm sure that'll go down quite nice after cutting the grass, seeing it is actually a really nice summer's day today. We are now driving through what I notoriously refer to as Shitsville, our localised 20 mile an hour zone. I didn't realise it just now, but very briefly, we'd only just entered it. And Jackie went, watch your speed. I was doing 25 miles an hour. I slowed it down very, very quickly. And it is an average speed, uh, average speed check, apart from right at the end down here, um, which caught me once. There is a, one of those old fashioned dodgy speed cameras, literally caught me just pulling out of the, pulling out of the chemist back in September last year. We're just about to drive into glorious Sainsbury's. Because that's where the Argos is, in Sainsbury's. We're going to pick up that mower. And hopefully that's going to change our garden forever. Good job, I'm doing nine. Let's find ourselves an half decent parking space. I'm sure Jackie will whip the Uber round in the feather duster while I'm in there. I might see if they've got a summer shirt. Because I bought one the other day from Morrison's. It had lots of X's on it. It looked massive as well. Whoa, get your nose on your side of the road, please, mate. It had loads of X's on it, but when I went to put it on, they weren't enough. Jesus, everybody's driving on the wrong side of the road. Christ almighty, anyone would think he was taking an articulated lorry around that corner. 
There he goes, look, another one. He's on the right side of the road, though, so that's some in. I think we'll whip around here and... Oh, it's a nice little... Uh... There, look. What? I was going to say, yeah. Should we go with the camper van area? All to ourselves, look. Where? Yeah. This one? I was going to just drive right through, save reversing. Oh, yeah. But I could do. No, I'm gonna, I'm gonna drive right through. Nice and bright out there, anyway. Oh, I wanted to go around there. There we go. Look, I can drive straight through then. Why reverse when you can go forward? That's what I say. Let's go and get this bleeding lawn mower then. Out, bang me head. See you in a minute. Right, I've got me haul, picked up the mower, couldn't resist a few shirts as well. Whee. Right then, let's see what Jackie's up to. I thought you'd be hoovering. Look at you, look. Ouch, <laughs> bang me head again. Look at you being a proper businesswoman. Sort the accounts out. Mm -hmm. Well done. Oh, I've you got everything? Whoa! Yeah, one super duper lawnmower. Yeah, mind your head. It jiggled, I thought it was going to fall out the end. One super duper lawnmower. We ah. got, I couldn't resist it, a pepper pig oh ball. Oh my God. For the little boy, for boy. Father's Day card. Lovely. For me, because no one else is going to bother that for my dad. And prepare to be dazzled. Hoo-ya! Lovely. Trunks. Oh, I hope that front bit's big enough. Trunks. Yeah, it's going to be plenty big enough. You sure? Do you reckon it might need taking in a bit? <laughs> <laughs> You're going to need socks to match them trunks. I've got socks. And here we go. Here we go. Summer holidays. Bright. Summer holidays. Bright. And summer holidays. And a deck chair. Hey, Jack. I like that one. Beautiful fabric. I don't just look at the picture, I feel the fabric. Right, and me and Cole's been together for like donkey's years. And Carl thinks I like stripes. You it's, used to. It's checks. I know I you like. like. Yeah, but when me and Gary had those matching ch striped shirts years ago, you liked them. <laughs> right. To a point. It's not often you can do this. Yeah. Buy your clothes mm -hmm. and put them in the wardrobe before you get home. So there's one for the wardrobe. There's two for the wardrobe. Look at that. Come on, you can't I grumble at can't grumble at that. And free for the wardrobe. I love our house on wheels. Brilliant, isn't it? There. Wow. Reverse. Beep. Beep. Beep, 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 beep. Right, let's go and get some bracky. Actually, I'm going to take that back. Where's this going? Look at him go, look. What a man. What a beast. Wow, look at you. New Year's resolution complete. I said I was going to start running. Well, it took me six months and that took five seconds. So at least I can tick that one off a box. Well, you went there, didn't you? You sprinted there. You, was, you were cool. You didn't even break into a sweat. Oh, I have. I'm boiling now. And as quick as that, we're leaving again. Next stop, McDonald's. Just pulling into the McDonald's. I'm not going to get too close to McDonald's, but there's a car park right beside it because my van's a bit tight. I certainly won't be able to get it through the drive through We'll go in here somewhere, right next to that other van, because that's where all the adventure wagons go. Well, they've got electric car charging ports there now. They're all spaced out. I could have gone that one, actually. 
people was all staggered. They're all kind of staggered, aren't they? I'll go here. I won't go right through, but at least I can pull out through there. Yeah, that'll do, won't it? Yeah. I've just placed the order. Just wait here for a few seconds for it. Hopefully it won't be too long. Come on then, let's see what's in that box. What do we got? That'll be one double. That'll be two doubles. That's an ash brown. And other ash brown. And I've bought an extra double sausage and egg muffin just so I can take the two sausages out, give them to Daisy. And a flatbread. And Jackie's got a cappuccino and I got a hot... No, I got a cappuccino and Jackie got a hot chocolate. Look at that. Give us that look of death again. Death stare. Boom, boom, boom. There we are. Time to tuck in. And I've got these two sausages. I'll whip them out. So we'll feed them to Daisy when we're finished. I know there are a lot of junk food haters out there, but I mean McDonald's. How can you, how can you resist that? It's blinking beautiful. Absolutely. Oh, I love it. Love it. I know I love me food anyway. And Daisy, what 13 year old girl can resist a McDonald's as well? If she was a 13 year, year old human, we'd buy her a McDonald's, wouldn't we? So why, why shouldn't she get it just because she's a dog? Okay, it's time to feed the little one. That means Daisy, not you, Jackie. <gasps> McDonald's. Oh, look at that. <gasps> this is where Daisy has her funny moment now and suddenly decides she don't like McDonald's sausages no more. <laughs> <laughs> look at that. What, is it too small? Just let her bite it. So she'll bite a bit off. There you go. Yeah, that was the bit she bit off. I know, but she dropped it and she decided it's not. There you go, Daisy. Yep. I normally break pieces off and feed it to her. There you go. There, that's how it's done. Don't know what's up with that little bit of sausage there. It's the same as the big bit that's in her mouth. I literally can't believe it. You know how fussy Daisy is? Well, normally, oh, she loves McDonald's sausages. She's had nothing all morning because she don't eat her breakfast. She's given up eating breakfast first thing in the morning now. So I bought, made sure I had two extra sausages for her. And she reluctantly, she ate like half a sausage, broke it up, kept dropping it. I don't know whether it's just because she's getting older because she's like knocking 13 now. Um... She reminds, there's this old lady that comes into our tea rooms. She always eats her dinner, but she's quite ditzy and she's sort of like all picky and stuff like that. And she's loose, Lucy, Daisy. Daisy actually reminds us, reminds us of this like little old 80 odd year old lady who comes in picking at her food. Now here's a nifty little trick, which I'm sure many of you are aware of. If you have parked on a slight slope, jam a tennis ball in the bottom there stops the door rolling forward so you can still get a bit of ventilation yet maintain your privacy talking about maintaining your privacy you're right there jack <laughs> and now it's time to leave mcdonald's hopefully without hitting any of those cars either side of us as i as i do my lock <laughs> christ I'm in my lines. Yeah, loads of room. I used to be a bus driver and sometimes I still think I'm bloody driving one. Well, I'll just get me lock around here and then back it up a bit. Could have probably done it anyway, but I'm very cautious when I'm driving the bus. Well, this bus. Any bus. Are you Damn right. Do Are these girls coming across? I'll let them go across. Also, their last day, obviously. What, Mufti? So, Are they schoolgirls? Yeah, they've got shirts with all their names on them. Oh, yeah. And as we leave the glorious safety of the McDonald's car park, we're now going home. It's getting cloudy. I've looked at the weather forecast. Doesn't say it's going to rain, so get home. Check me more. I might even have to charge it for an hour. Hang on, there's a car there. And there's one behind it. I just don't know what to do. Is he going to let me go? No, of course he's not. Of course he's not. I'll be fuming. <laughs> if, it, if it starts raining. 
Well, it's not supposed to. The weather's supposed to be better from six o'clock onwards. It's supposed to be just pure sunshine from six o'clock onwards. Between now and then, there's pictures of a cloud and a sun, but definitely no rain cloud, no raindrops. Oh, thank you, Jackie. I obviously do better than those, uh... Did you hear what Jackie just said? She just said, you do amazing driving this. So I says to her, I obviously do a lot better than those blinking, what are they? Those Amazon drivers. <gasps> the state of the Amazon vans. Whenever you see an Amazon van, take a look at the sides of them. I've seen so many with all the sides caved in. Let's get out of here, luck. Anything coming? I think it's clear, check me blind spots. Yeah, we're all good. A couple of cyclists there, look at them. Look, I do take my hat off to cyclists because they're so fit, aren't they? And I bet they can go home and eat a horse because they've just burnt off like 3,000 calories on a ride. Like I said, the problem with me isn't the amount of food I eat, it's the amount of exercise I don't do. You will have a look. I'll let that lorry come across. Go on, lorry. Go on, lorry. Hard-working lorry drivers. Keep, ah, ha, ha. Keeping the country moving. Ah. Engine management lights just come on. Fucking hell. Imagine if the council officers were riding around and they stopped me. Sorry, no more. Look at all that luck. That's our local field, our local football field. There's a play park at the end of it. But the houses are all private, yeah? Privately oh, owned. No. This is like... I probably won't get it myself now because I'm facing the opposite live. way. They're proud of where they live. We'll have to see what you can get on that camera, Jack. Mm. They've got horses and everything. That's a, like a little one. But some big ones here, it's like being on the moors. <laughs> wow. That's what you call van life to the extreme. Oh. Got some more horses up there. It's bonkers, isn't it? Good job we're cutting our grass, Cole. Yeah, I'll pass it here. They'd set up camp at ours. There they are, look. Chipple camp. And beautiful horses. I just want to park up and join them. We could have a right riot. A riot? Huh? Thanks. <laughs> You're all drinking their homemade jipple moonshine. Be bloody lovely. Right, let's have a look, see what's in this box. Spear and Jackson cordless grass trimmer. It actually said it's their most powerful one. 12 inch cutting blade on it. slide it back in when I'm finished with it but then as we know nothing ever slides back in the box the way it's supposed to right I'm gonna where's that knife I'm gonna have to cut the knife cut the box open I bet it'd never slide back in the box it's only because that end looked loose anyway so I thought that was the way to get into it manual. There we go, let's put that one there. Let's see what's in it. This one, I'm losing everything here. Let's open this box. See what we've got. What I would love to say is, this is a paid promotion and Spear and Jackson gave us this strimmer for free so that we could, um, what do you call it? Do a, 
What do they call it? Review, that's it. Lovely if I could say that, but they didn't. Because <laughs> our YouTube channel is not popular enough at the moment to get sponsored. So if we want anything, we got to pay for it. I can't wait until we get until we get freebies. Try out this power power pack for free. Try out this solar panel. Try out this electric bike. That'd be brilliant, wouldn't it? We're probably gonna have to get at least a thousand subscribers before we get any of that. Look at that. That's a beast of a battery. I wonder if it's got a button on it. Well, 98% straight out of the box. You see that? So I thought I'd have to charge it. 98% straight out of the box. But I will. I'll put it on while I do a couple of chores. Get him up to 100. Because that's obviously, it's been, I mean, it's obviously been 98% while it's been in, I mean, it could have been manufactured a year ago. So that shows that the battery does hold its charge well. So we plug that one. I don't know, is that stand up? That way, I think. Well, we'll leave it at that for now. I need to go and empty the toilet because <laughs> we didn't do it when we finished camping the other day. And there was a funny little smell in the van. So I'm going to sort that out and then we'll get back to this. Right, I am going to empty this toilet. One of the absolute worst jobs of van life, but it needs to be done. Yeah. Tops off. Ain't going to be pretty. And there it goes. It ain't pretty. It smelled worse. Job done. Well, I'm going to flush that and then rinse it. I always give it a rinse upside down just in case there's any <laughs> nasty unpleasant things clinging to the underside of the you know the door mechanism at the top right that's been done put some pretty blue stuff in it put some more water in first there's a bit of water Here's some pretty blue stuff. Don't know how much that is, but it should be enough. And then I'm put, oh. My hand. My hand just touched the inside of the lid, so I don't have to wash that properly. Put that one down. Actually, no. I might give it a shake. Like that, just to clean the lid out. Clean the nozzle out. Then put it like that. Should I say? Then do it like that. Then do it like that. And then hopefully we're good to go. Right, let's put this toilet cassette back. Put him down there. Can I do it with one hand though? We shall see. I'm not that. Bop. And that one. Get his toilet cassette. Slide him in there. You can't take it out with one hand because it weighs a bloody ton. There it is, all clicked into place. Job done. Make sure you lock it up because the last thing you want is somebody stealing your big pot of poo. So here goes me with the instructions. I've got to take those screws out and put that one on there. There's a handle which should go up the top somewhere. There we go, there's some holes there to put that on. There's a metal thing there which goes somewhere around that. I ain't got a clue, what does it say? It's like there, isn't it? Oh, there's the metal thing, ending position, height adjustment. But it said that, it says, insert the plant protector. Assemble the plant protector. So that goes on there somehow. 
I'm not very good with instructions, but let's give it my best shot. And there we go. That literally, I think that took less than 10 minutes to put together. Put that one on, put that one on, clip that one on. And that, he's probably been charging. He was on, what did I say, about 98% and it was red light. It was, it's been on for about maybe 20 minutes, maybe 25 minutes. And both green lights are on, so I'm assuming that means it's fully charged. So I'm going to go out and try, try it out, see what he's like. But before I do that... I've got to make a cup. I've got to take a cup up for Jackie. We've been home about half an hour and she hasn't had a cup of tea yet. I'm surprised she hasn't started banging on the ceiling yet. Right, let's see if I can get any of this mowing on my phone before it falls over. Well, it's not as good as me petrol mower. <laughs> it's gonna take a while. And this is the most powerful one they had. I'd hate to get like a 12 volt or a 24 volt one. This is like 32 volts. I bet it's not designed for challenging jungles, but we'll give it a crack and see how it goes. Well, you can see what I've done so far that little bit there let's see how we get on with it well that quarter swimmer was it was doing it it was taking for ages though i mean it's a bit of a jungle so what i've done is i've got my old mower out there's no wheels on it so i've got to drag it around like a bleeding brick but hopefully if i can get the worst of it off with that then i can finish it off tidy it up with this trimmer let's see how we go the council are <laughs> cutting the grass around me that's what all that noise is also one good thing with this mower it actually picks the grass up, so I've only been using it for five minutes or whatever, and look at that. That's not only picked up the grass it's cut, it's picked up all the grass from my strimmer I was using. So, thing is with the strimmer, because it was so long, I was chopping the grass, and then it was just spending most of its time chopping up the already chopped up grass. So I wasn't really getting anywhere. Right, I'm calling it for a minute, half time or quarter time or whatever it is. <laughs> I made a cup of tea about an hour or so ago, so. I'm gonna drink that now. I think that'll be just the right temperature. Sit down for a few minutes and then carry on with the jungle. Look, it's looking better than it was when in the first photograph that I showed you. And two and a half hours later, I've got it looking like this. That's about as best I can do today on Macquarie. Am I gonna attempt the back garden yet? Mm. There we go. Two and a half hours hard graft. Shall I try the back garden? I'm thinking about it. I might just make a little start. Well, the front garden is just about done. All I can do today, so I'm making a start on the back garden. I've already pulled up all the weeds and most of them anyway. There was lots of things growing up between the cracks of the patio and that. So I pulled all them up and I'm having a shandy and I'm gonna have a crack at that bloody great jungle. Also, I've just got a chicken curry simmering, so that should be quite nice by the time I eat that in a couple of hours' time. The longer it simmers, well, I've actually got it ready and turned it off, and then it'll just stew for a while in its, in its own heat, and then I'll turn it back on when I need it. There is a lone mower in amongst that grass somewhere. Let's get cracking. Well, I started this at 12.42, and it's now 6.42. So that's six hours of hard graph. That's the hardest I've worked for a long time since I've done the garden last year, actually. So it'd be nice if I could kind of keep on top of it this time. You can see what I've done. There was all brambles engulfing the fence. The garden was half engulfed with brambles as well. I've done the garden, strimmed it, mowed it. And uh, all this behind me, that had all weeds and everything coming up through the cracks. So I've done the best I could with that. And the same on the other side. I'm not the world's best gardener, to say the least. And to be honest with you, since we've had the van, every time I've got day off and the sun shines, we've been buggering off, so we haven't had any chance to even sort this. So it's just been getting worse and worse and worse. So it'd be nice to keep on top of it 
And if possible, we'd love to sort those fences out sometimes. Now we can, now we can find them because the brambles are all gone. <laughs>